Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're making pop tarts. Yes, pop tarts. It's not my recipe. It's a recipe I found. Um, I found in a book. So we're gonna make the 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 actual tart according to the to the recipe. But the filling, I'm gonna alter the filling. I did not like their filling, so we're gonna do something just a little different. Anyways, in here we have uh, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So it's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. We are also going to be using some regular sugar, so we're going to use two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of sugar, so it's one, two, two teaspoons of, of, of course, the granulated sugar was going to be not powdered sugar. We're also going to be using a teaspoon, again with a teaspoon, of kosher salt. Always add a little bit of salt because the salt kind of um, counterbalances. Then we're going to be using two sticks of unsalted butter, which we're going to cube, and we're going to have some really cold water, and I'll show you that in a sec. So, um, in here, make sure, you, first of all, your hands are washed, cleaned, you know. In here, I have flour and salt and the sugar. Again, it's two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I have uh, a two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and we're going to add two sticks of unsalted butter. This is really cold, and we want to make sure that we cube it small, so cut them into small cubes. This is what's going to make um, the pastry fluffy, so um, I'm going to coat and the reason I'm, I'm using my hands, I want to show you two separate methods. I could even show you three. But this is one, is using your hands to squeeze through the butter and the, um, and the flour. So squeeze through it until you get um, almost mealy. You want chunks of butter, but not OD. So you could do it this way. Or you could use a hand blender or one of these little thingies that have... Um, little ridges and you can just cut the butter in that way and it, I think it's a little faster this way if you don't have one of these gadgets you could also use a fork or two forks and literally just go at it with a fork and I think with a fork it would just take too long so I'm not gonna go with a fork I think it's your best bet is using your hands and using a hand blender which is what I'm using right now and what I'm doing is I am going through it and rocking it so I'm rock I'm going through the butter and I'm rocking it in in the uh, the flour then I go in and I take it out carefully because you can cut yourself so carefully you do this and you continue until you get all this to become um, the bits of butter are gonna be a lot smaller so I'm gonna continue this and I'll show you the next step so as you can tell you can still piece, see pieces of butter which is fine you can continue to process it with your fingers you're gonna try to break the butter but you do not want to melt the butter you need the butter to create flakes so this is what we got so you can automatically tell you know you still see pieces of butter but then I like old D big. Anyways, so at this moment, at this moment, moment, we're gonna add a quarter cup of ice cold water, and with your same fingers, you're gonna start incorporating the water into the flour. And you're gonna know wh while doing it if you're gonna need more water. And if you do, you're gonna add it one tablespoon at a time. So. I automatically know I will be using more water so I have cold water in here and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding it one tablespoon at a time and I'm gonna continue to get everything nice and incorporated we are trying to come up with like a, a dough that's gonna resemble a little bit like a, like pie dough it's almost there not quite I'm gonna go ahead with another another tablespoon this super flaky dough is it's so good now the filling that we're doing um, the recipe itself that I'm, I'm going by it was using um, a brown sugar and cinnamon 
filling. I'm not doing that. You can. You can use just take brown sugar, cinnamon. You can use molasses or you can use a little bit of um, butter to just get it incorporated. Now we're going to just bring this in here. Okay, and we're going to get your hands in this because you want the dough to come together. You might need a little bit more water. Just don't overdo it. You don't want a wet dough. So what we want to do here is just continue to get all this together. Just get it incorporated. Nothing out of this blue. Just get it incorporated. You don't want to overwork the dough. You really don't because you don't want... So what we're going to do is we're going to take this dough and we're going to cut it in half. So give or take, you know. It doesn't have to be a perfect half. And I want you to see... Just, I don't know if you can. Okay, you see how, you can see the layers. That's what the butter does. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make them into a little, I'm going to do like a semi-rectangle, squarish, if you want to call it that. Let's make it a little square. And we're going to do the same thing on both sides. Try to make them as uniform as possible does not have to be perfect and we're gonna put this into uh, Ziploc bags and we're gonna pop this into the refrigerator for I don't know 20 30 minutes let it be nice and chilled and put it in the refrigerator while you clean up and you do your filling and I'll show you my filling next I did say I wanted to show you all how to make the guava sauce, but honestly, I guess I'm out of guava paste or I have no idea where I put it so I can't find it. So just for the record, this is the guava sauce, the guava paste that we're using. What I did is that I took guava, uh, a guava block, and I put it in my, 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 my mixer. I mixed it with a little bit of water, lemon juice, and a touch of vanilla, and I just beat beat it until it was that consistency and put it away now for the cream cheese I'm using half of a block of cream cheese and I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for 20 let's do 30 seconds and we're gonna watch it and we want to just do it until the consistency of the actual um, guava it, uh, not the guava I keep saying guava cheese the consistency of the cream cheese is creamy um we don't want to overdo it we don't want to burn it um like i said let me finish that 30 seconds we're gonna um incorporate it we're gonna give it a little whisk and we're gonna add just a little touch of sugar so this is at 30 seconds so at 30 seconds, I think it's fine the way it is. We don't need to give it more than that. So we're not trying to cook the cream cheese, but just make it a little pliable. And to the cream cheese, we're going to add roughly uh, one and a half teaspoons or so of sugar. Okay. And that's it this is oh i'm sorry i said that was it that's not it i'm gonna also add a little drop in i'm gonna i'm gonna actually let's do a quarter of a teaspoon of really good quality vanilla extract and we're gonna give it a little swirl okay give it a little mix and that's it normally if I'm just gonna use cream cheese I will add a little bit of lemon zest to give it that um that cheesecake flavor but we're not we're using guava so so these are the two fillings so we're gonna set these aside now we're just gonna get to rolling the dough so there's there is a few things 
we're going to be using. Um, for starters, I'm actually looking for one of the items right this second. I can't put my right Anyways, for starters, we're going to use some, I have in here is, is uh, AP flour. So I just have all-purpose flour to dust. We're going to need a rolling pin of your choice. I'm using this one because it's the latest one I bought and I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I was going to ever suggest something, use this. Great for fun and great for rolling dough. I think it's absolutely perfect for whatever little small task you want to use without having to take out the big um the big uh the big ones that we use we're also going to be using like a pasta tool cutter i'm sorry something like this to give it a shape if you don't have this then don't use it <coughs> excuse me you can use um you can use a serrated knife and it'll work fine i'm going to remove the <coughs> the um the dough out of the refrigerator. Let me go wash my hands and let's get started. Okay, so we are working with one of the bags of dough at a time. We're not going to remove them both. So one at a time. You can save your Ziploc bag if you want to make it again. Just use the same bag. If not, so I'll throw them out. It's up to you. So what we're doing is we're going to flour our working surface. Let me make sure you're able to see. And we're going to dust the actual dough and we're gonna dust a little bit of our stick a rolling pin I said stick but you know what I mean and we're gonna go ahead and try to go there and we're gonna continue doing this back and forth until we get everything kind of even you can kind of still see the butter we want to go fairly thin make sure that everything has flour and keep turning it to make sure that it is loose whoops see it starts stick make sure you have flour on your pin The only reason I'm working with one at a time is only due to the fact that I, I still need to go a little bit, a little thinner, is because we want the dough to maintain cold because you don't want the butter to start melting. So one of the things that I am going to do now is that I am going to just cut it as much as I can to make it uniform. Opa. Okay, so so we're just gonna and you know what I am going to re-roll the scraps and do it again. I'm gonna cut this in half as much as I can. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna cut each half in thirds so in here you will have top and bottom top and bottom top and bottom okay and I'm hoping you guys can see good let me see if I can get you closer okay so in here you're gonna need an egg wash for this egg wash all you're really gonna need is one egg so one egg and this one egg, we're just gonna grab a little bowl, crack your egg. We're gonna add either milk or water, just a little bit. And we're gonna make a little egg wash. We're not making scrambled eggs, so all we wanna do is make it make it liquidy. Okay? Nothing out of this world, just a little egg wash, okay? Get yourself a little paintbrush or whatever you you feel fit to use. And we're going to use that to be 
the little brush that we are going to be using to paint in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top part and we're going to paint the edges. Just the edges of the top part. Okay. Just the top. And now we're going to grab our filling. This is super simple. But you just got to follow it to the T. We're going to... We're going to start by adding a little dollop right in the center of the guava. You don't want to overdo it because you do not want the filling to ooze out. I think this last one I did was a little better. And we're going to add our cream cheese directly on top. That's why I said make sure your hands are clean. Because you're going to be using your hands here. Okay, simple. That's your filling. And now what you're going to do is that you're going to grab the piece under and put it directly on top and squeeze. Squeeze the edges, only the edges. And then you're going to grab a fork and make the little crimpus, crimps on the bottom. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see. It's not something that's out of this world. So, you see this? This is one of ours. Can you see? Yeah. And we're going to grab the same fork and we're going to make one, two, three little slits or little pokes right in the center we're going to continue with these with the rest of this and the rest of the dough i will re-roll that and i'll show you what how much i get out of it so let me show you what i got so i got all different sizes here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine i could have gotten more if i would have just made them all this size i would have gotten probably 12 of them but I decided let's go with it. Now we're going to pop these in the freezer um, to let them firm up again because they're still soft and I don't want the butter to melt but I want a flaky dough. We're going to pop this into to the, uh, the freezer for a little while while we prepare the glaze. Okay, so for the glaze while our dough is in the freezer for a little while, we're going to grab some 10x sugar or powdered sugar and we're going to put a rough estimate here of we're going to do one and a half cups so each one of these is half of a cup so we're going to do one and a half cups of of um, 10x sugar we're going to add a pinch of kosher salt Yes, I said salt. We're gonna grab a small whisk and we're going to grab some milk or half and half, depending what you have. We're gonna start by adding one, two tablespoons of milk and we're gonna start whisking little by little because you don't wanna make a mess. Remember that powdered sugar becomes nothing, so that's why you don't want to overdo it adding too much milk at a, at a time. Remember, we still got to add some vanilla extract extract to this. Automatically, I could tell, yeah, we have a glaze, but I want my glaze to be a little bit softer. So we're going to add just about half of a tablespoon half of a tablespoon or so of the uh, of the of the milk or half and half we're gonna start a little giving it that mixy mix okay and we're gonna go ahead and grab our vanilla extract and we're gonna add about half of a teaspoon 
or so of it and we'll give it a mix and because we're making guava I do want to give this a little bit of a hint of color so we are gonna add just a little bit of pink um, like a little droplet of pink just to give it a color okay we're gonna give it that little pink color could have added less but hey now we got a pink remember when my kids were little they liked the pink ones or the white one but never never did they like the cinnamon one or anyway so we have our glaze now um, I have my oven preheated at 300 and I'm sorry 350 degrees I am going to grab my tarts out of the oven I mean out of the freeze I keep saying oven what is with me and we're gonna grab ourselves a little paintbrush well not really a paintbrush but you know a little brush a little pastry brush and we are going to paint these with a little bit of the wash why because the egg wash is going to give it that beautiful color that beautiful brown color you can add a little bit of sugar on the raw on top if you want a little bit more sweetness but I prefer not to because we are adding a glaze but if it's your choice you may add it so what we're doing is we are painting on our dough or our little tarts and we're gonna pop these at 350 degrees we're gonna check them after 15 minutes but we want them to be golden brown okay golden brown and delicious and we're almost there if you don't if you also you could add a little bit of regular sugar right on top and that's it so we are going into the oven and I will show you guys when we're done okay so my pop tarts or pastry tarts are ready I just took them out the oven look I'm taking them out as we speak I don't want the back thing to get messed up I'm, I'm working on a pizza dough back there anyway so these are the pop tarts look how beautiful Look, I'm gonna pick one up. Hopefully I don't get burned. See, these are our tarts. Now what we're gonna do now is wait for them to cool. See, beautifully golden. Wait for them to cool so we can add the glaze and a few sprinkles just to make it look cute. Okay, so see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are going to try to do, attempt this now. So we have our glaze. And we're going to grab an offset spatula. And we're going to grab some of the glaze. And on some of them, we're just going to glaze it. And with an offset spatula, just go... And be as simple as just putting some glaze on. Again, I'm going to grab an offset spatula. And we're going to put some glaze on. And then some of these are going to have sprinkles. And we're going to do that now. Because it's all about getting everything... Getting everything cooking, I mean, looking the same or almost, so we're going to grab some sprinkles and we are going to add a few sprinkles, yes, come on, look how pretty, on some of these, if you don't want to glaze it completely, then you could just lift this. And just do that again 
we grab it and just do that and that's it these are our pop tarts I want to show you the inside of this I'll show you that next so like I said this is a pop tart so let's give it a quick little break you're gonna see the flakiness look at the flakiness and then you got your cheese and your guava on the inside now we give it a taste Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it. No more store but pop sauce. Mm. Let me tell you something. These are money. Good. Delicious. Oozy. We could also omit the cream cheese and add on some mozzarella. And it'll melt oozing more. It'll be even better. Anyway, that's it. Pop tarts done my way. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you want me to make anything, and I will definitely try. Anyways, thanks again for for spending time with me here in my kitchen, and I will see you guys on the next video. Okay. God bless you. Bye.